Crashing. Crashing with friends. Jackson, what do you think your f- favorite concert you've ever been to is? My favorite concert I've ever been to? Yeah, I was trying to think of that earlier. <clears throat> My favorite I've ever been to. Man, that's a really hard one, man, because... Just like the one that just instantly popped into your brain. The Silent Planet show right before the pandemic shut down. One where you're pretty I'm, much like kissing the lead singer. Mm, yep. I always love to hear about it. <laughs> I, I, had a, I had a very good personal experience with the lead singer. <laughs> How close those yeah, bros got. in your mouth, literally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, like I got I got that moment. I got that moment multiple times, like him throwing the microphone like to me. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Throw Jack the mic. <laughs> very cool. And all in all of like the key moments of like the songs that like I love the most. So mm-hmm. and then and after you. after the show he gave me the biggest hug. And would not let go. It was a little weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was but there a leg wrapped around too? I, I would have taken it. <laughs> Hell yeah. That man is gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I want to be up front with you. He's been liking my comments lately. So. Whoa. I, mean, I, don't, okay. I don't know where you guys are at right now. Is a couple, but. <laughs> Just gotta say, bro. I believe that might be a fake page. Because <laughs> every once in a while, I'll get like those That's comments where I'm too. like. Fucking this dude just liked my comment, and then like yeah. I go to his page, and I'm like, this is like a brand new page, and then I go back to the comments, and I'm like, he's liking everything, man. And I'm like, oh, shit. this might be some Indian dude that's gonna try to like hit up these people and be like, hey man, my band band or like my, my, my van just went broke down. Yeah, right, yeah. Fucking I need right. money. I need send me bucks. five bucks. That's all I need, man. Five dollars, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, five dollars <laughs> to fix the van. I swear, man. <laughs> You're also a prince. You could be a prince. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're in the will. When the prince of Nicaragua personally emails you, you send him the thousand dollars. <laughs> His father's a millionaire. Billion. No. <laughs> what do you think your favorite concert ever was, Connor? Uh, choice between either that periphery concert and uh, what was it? Goheen. Lawrence, Go-heen? In Lawrence, Kansas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Lawrence, Kansas, and then the Coheed concert. That's what I was saying. Between those two, those are my by far my two favorite concerts. Yeah, I would say probably the Chili Peppers concert that I went to in Oklahoma City. That was awesome. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Whenever you guys were, I was like, yeah, it might be Chili Peppers. It's just the what they were doing with those lights and stuff, That's man, was wild, so yeah. rad. Yeah, yeah I'd like it, to see them. It was pretty cool, man. It was really cool. I would have liked to have seen Lincoln Park. Yeah. That's yeah. one of my bands that yeah, I wish that I could have like, saw. Mm-hmm. It's a real shame that I never, like, all the times I went to Warp Tour, never saw Lincoln Park there. They were never there. Mm-hmm. How many times have you been to Warped? Four. That's crazy. Damn, bro. That's so crazy, dude. And every single one of those oh, times, man. I missed out on very key bands that I would have loved to see. My Chemical Romance. Oh, God. That would have been fucking awesome to see. Mm-hmm. Uh trying to think of like some of like the other good charlotte did you see good charlotte never saw good charlotte mm. fucking but saw, saw the used like a shit ton of times man he got the seat and like you can find the video on youtube of him getting on like this big ass speaker he's like this song is called take it away and then he jumps off and he like lands like maybe 20 feet away from me into the crowd and i thought oh, yeah. he was dead Cause I was like, I was like, dude, that's so high up, <laughs> and there's no way that whoever is like trying to catch him is gonna feel <clears throat> good catching him. Oh yeah, those people are hurting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> Wonder how many rock stars have like jumped off speakers and completely torn like all the like the muscles in their legs or the you know torn their ACLs or whatever. Yeah, Wonder Dave Grohl ma- fell off the stage and broke his leg. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true that. Yeah, pretty wild shit. Yeah. Mm. It's got to be the wildest thing, man. Breaking your leg in front of the entire, like, like the closest thing I ever did was when we went to, uh, or what's it called? The, the same place that we went and uh, saw Suicide Silence and yeah, all that in the downstairs area, you know? Mm-hmm. And for some reason, they had, like, a little guardrail that you, I don't know, there's a small guardrail and then the stage. 
I didn't know that there was like little uh, E cutouts, like because the, the stage was cut out like a capital E. So there was like little pockets that you could just like easily fall through. Well, <laughs> I didn't see that pocket. <laughs> I was like, I'm jumping on stage and I'm going to stage dive. Get on stage on the run up to <laughs> stage dive. Fuck. The lat, my plant foot, my <laughs> plant foot to jump. Ooh. Landed right in it, and I Ooh. basically just <laughs> <laughs> took that whole ran and then took a guardrail to yeah. my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, that was at Whitechapel. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Bozeman was like, That guy got fucked up. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh man, well, uh, this is Crashing with Friends podcast. <laughs> Mm-hmm. TRL Carson Daly here. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's episode 147. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. Because we mm. would like you to. Big or time. not do it, but it would be cool if you did. Uh, also, if you want somewhere else to listen to this, the, maybe like an audio version, you can always check out Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Mm. We're always on there as well. Uh, Bo, how you been, man? <clears throat> What's the most depressing thing that's... I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I've been pretty go. good, actually. Well, it's been, a, it's been a roller coaster of emotions since I last spoke with y'all. But, uh, no, it's been really good. I don't know. Jessica and I are back together. No big deal. Big flex there. Oh, oh shit. Got it done, boys. Woo. Big time. Yeah. How did, yeah. You, did, you, uh, did you tie it up? Uh, I did not tie it up. Yeah, I'm not tied it up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for the right kind of restraints right now. But, uh, <laughs> what about the shovel? She's not tied up, but the cuffs are very strong. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of plans there. Yeah, we, we've been doing like just so much shit lately, too. It's been kind of crazy. I don't know, I'm talking bowling. I'm talking concerts. I'm talking aquariums. I'm talking other things that I can't think of on the spot, but other stuff for sure. Nice. You go so. see Third Eye Blind and Yellow Card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did see that. Dude, yeah. I was this close to going to see him, man. Yeah, Third Eye Blind was pretty sweet, man. I was like, first of all, I didn't realize how many songs of theirs I knew, you know, but, mm-hmm. uh, and then like, I was like, yeah, I guess I know one Yellow Card song. All right. Check this out. Yeah. You a big Yellow Card fan, Jackson? Uh, I like two of their songs. So and, 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 then they, and then they have one song that makes my ears bleed. It's kind of oh, like yeah. Hoobastank, you know? Huh. They're like yeah. Hoobastank. They have several pretty good songs, and then they got that one song that makes me want to, like, off myself by just, like, you know, head butting an axe. Is, which song is it? Is it Ocean <laughs> yeah. Avenue? Or? I like Ocean Avenue. Okay. Uh, yeah, the say, yellow card song I'm thinking of is that uh, Only One, you know? Okay. You I'll... are my only, my only okay. one. Yeah, yeah. The music video is yeah. like a riot is happening in slow motion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're putting flowers in the gun barrels. Okay, yeah. I they will that. shoot yeah. the fuck out of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they didn't play that one because I didn't headbutt, headbutt an axe or whatever. Huh. <laughs> you just see their fingers exploding. <laughs> 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 So as you can see, Kyle, I didn't bring you a trout because we ended up not going to fucking uh, what is it? What is it Roaring River. Roaring River. Yeah, I thought like the last second she's like, no, we're gonna go to uh, Beaver Lake or which I've been there a bunch of times, whatever. When I was a kid. That's Arkansas. Yeah, but we found a pretty cool spot on there that I've never been before. It's pretty legit, actually. I think we're supposed to go back like not this weekend, but the weekend after. So should be pretty cool. Yeah, I've been swimming lately. No big deal. Doggy paddling is what I mean by that. I didn't really know that I really <laughs> like the water, but yeah, it's not bad. I mean, Dude, you are tan as fuck right now, man. Mm, hmm Yeah, even like we showed up at the concert, whatever, it was like 5 awesome. o'clock, and it didn't start till 6.30, so we're just baking in the fucking sun. And today I was outside a bunch too, but yeah, I'm getting a little, a little tanned. But uh, yeah, it's been good. I don't know. Just doing shit. That's new year, like, new bow? Uh, yeah. New half year. Yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm just super stoked and stuff. <clears throat> but <clears throat> New lease on life, you would say? Yes, yes, indeed. I know now it's like, the transition from like being super bummed to now I'm like super anxious to not fuck stuff up. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm trying to like, I'm like a genie or whatever. I'm like, what do you need? Pff, what do you need? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I can probably be try an ultimate try, dad. Trying a little, a little hard, but it's, yeah, at the same time, I, feel like I, I want to at the same time, you know, so it's just hard to <laughs> balance that out. I definitely feel you there in <laughs> the uh, anxious department and trying not to fuck stuff up, yeah. especially <laughs> in like the last 48 hours. Oh, yeah. Shit. Uh, yeah. Anything specific or what? 
Yeah, we'll get to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> Wait, uh, it, it depends if uh, Kyle wants to do a quick edit, real quick. But so we're not going yeah, to talk mind. about it on the. Okay, I don't want to talk about. No, it's fine. It's I don't cool. want to talk about it on the podcast because no, it's, it's not podcast mentioning. Like, yeah, I don't right. want to put it on the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> I got you. Okay, but uh, I don't want to put that pressure. That the Obviously. audience yeah. will yeah. put on me, yeah. you know? Yeah. I put enough pressure on myself, and I'm about to break. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to pull up those heartstrings too, yeah, too much. So I get it. Um, yeah, man, I don't know. It's been good. So just hanging out, whatever, doing stuff with the fam, all that. It's glad but, to hear you're doing good, man. I know. Yeah, finally. Ugh. That was a, yeah, that was an iffy moment for a while. I know so. it bummed me out. Bummed yeah. me and Rachel both out. <laughs> right, dude. And whenever yeah, I told Rachel I that pretty... you guys split, we were both like, oh, it, it was, it was it like was hard. It was like Bradgelina all over again, dude. I, I was like, no. Yeah, I didn't yeah. want to draw those parallels, but it was, yeah, big time. But, uh, what about you, Kyle? Have you been? What's been up, man? It's been pretty good, man. My knee uh, is so much better. Feeling, feeling great every day. Um, it only really hurts if I really, really stretch it, like you know where you do like the stretching where you touch your heel to the, your butt. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are one of my favorite ty- types of stretches, and I just can't get it there, dude. It just hurts a little bit too much. But uh, yeah, luckily, man, I did not tear anything. God, I would have been so sad. But um, man, House of the Dragon, dude. This last couple episodes, when this comes out, the finale will already be out. But man, so good. Mm-hmm. All the dragons. So many dragons. <laughs> I want, I, I, it's like everything you wanted in Game of Thrones and more. It's like, dude, I'm getting all the intrigue. I'm getting all the dragons. I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting not as much incest, but I you know, I could take some more. You know, uh, stuff yeah. like that. I'm also getting a lot less boobs and a lot more D, which I'm loving. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. A lot more man ass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I've been trying to watch some Olympics, man. It's just it's such a bummer because most of the Olympics happens in the morning and or you know throughout the afternoon, and I get off work like right as their last events are going on. Yeah, mm-hmm. it does well, suck. Um, that that's actually what I've been doing. And at seven um, central, that's when the prime time starts, and they show all the major events throughout the day. So oh, if you start okay. watching at seven to nine, you'll get all the major Damn. good stuff. That's all I I've been watching that. is like the women's gymnastics, the men's gymnastics. What are you well, watching it on? Uh, Peacock. Okay. The cock. I think, we, I think we got that. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, shout out to Jackson. It just sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can have my cock whenever you need it. <laughs> I just want your pee. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, oh bro, <laughs> we can all wish you gonna get it. Yeah, I got some pee for you, but uh, it's you it's, think that's beer you're drinking? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the thing that sucks is I, I'm on YouTube a lot, just checking out shit, and unfortunately, YouTube has kind of ruined some of the gold medals for me. Like who won street, skateboard gold? Yeah. So I didn't even watch skateboarding. It's like, well, I already know you don't won, so I don't even give a damn. I mm-hmm. watched it anyway. It was yeah. good. Yeah. I might still go back and watch it, but... Yeah, uh, it's worth watching. Yeah. Because, like, the clip I saw just had, like... It was just, like, a six-minute clip that had all the highlights of that. And it's like, well, I'll, I'll watch that, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I went to a Cardinals game this last week, and it was a um, pretty eventful, dude. Um, it's a tie game going into the ninth, and right as uh, Paul Goldschmidt got up there to hit, hits, an out of the, hits it out of the park, and it was a walk-off home run. So badass to see that live, you know, this uh, mm-hmm. the crowd going nuts, my son and my dad both going nuts, uh, Shit, yeah. all of us hugging and stuff, man. Just like I love the energy of a crowd as you're leaving a stadium if you've won, mm-hmm. you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's palpable, it's you yeah, can feel it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's in the air, mm-hmm. it's electric, it is electric. But uh, I'm also going to a game the day this podcast comes out, I'll be going to another game. Um, since I've become a Cardinals fan, man, I'm just trying to I'm trying to go as many times as possible. Like the tickets are so cheap to go to a game, mm. and it's just a great way for me to bond with my son and just build memories. You know, mm-hmm. because, that is the best thing about Major League Baseball is that it's affordable for the common man to go. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's so many games; it's hard not to make it affordable because you're not going to have any fans. You know, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's nice that it's nice that you guys went to a game together and you won. You know, in a big way, because, like, you've had a lot of losses and stuff. We have seen a lot of losses. We've seen, like, two or three wins, but we've also seen, like, four losses. So it's just, like... Yeah. We've been to a lot of games so far since we became Cardinals fans. But uh, it's just just fun, man. It's, It's... 
because you gotta also think, man, that's like a four hour drive up to St. Louis from where we live. So that's four hours of talking to my son or Yeah, that's know. why I'm a that's why I'm a Royals fan. It's only <laughs> yeah, three it's only three hour drive. Closer, right? so. <laughs> did you switch yeah, did you switch teams? That's what I was well, wondering. Less love to go around. <laughs> did, did I switch teams? Did you used to be a dip? yeah. Yeah, um I used to be a Cleveland Indians fan and oh, okay. that yeah. went out of style. So uh, and they've been perpetual losers my whole life. The year that they could have won, they freaking fumbled the ball bad and lost to the Cubs in the World Series. So stupid. Mm -hmm. But uh, once they changed to the Guardians, I was like, dude, the Guardians is such a god-awful name. It's god awful. Change it to a bird's name or something, or something. Yeah, yeah. Something, something that strikes fear in somebody. Not the guardians. What are you guarding? You know, what are you guarding? <laughs> home plate, man. This is our home plate. Yeah, we're guarding all these losses every year. We're still the same team. It's like, no, nah, <laughs> yeah. I ain't wearing no guardians crap. But uh, yeah, becoming a Cardinals fan has been a, a, a positive change in my life. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Is Dad a Cardinals fan now? Dad's a, I would say Dad's like a fourth Cardinals fan. Okay. And three fourths Giants fan. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's got that's right. Yeah. He's got Cardinals gear, but he's still a Giants fan. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <clears throat> but, you know, just good times bonded with my son, you know. I really, really enjoy that. Uh, plan on getting some disc golf in, but uh, that's about it. Karma, about you, man? Um, it's been pretty boring. Um, I just been exercising, um, watching the Olympics, playing some Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Jackson knows nothing about that. He'll learn about that yeah. one day. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just been it's been a pretty average week for me. Um, a good week, so nothing to complain about. Uh, work's been going pretty good. So, uh, did you check yeah. out that Cape Crusader show? I did not. I'm I'm going to check it out this weekend. <clears throat> I was actually watching a movie whenever you sent that, and then I went from that movie directly into the Olympics. So I didn't really have any time to watch it, but. But yeah, just uh, really impressed with the Olympic teams, man. Just uh, the swimmers, the uh, the the gymnasts. Is basketball still going on? Yeah. yeah, sweet. Yeah, I haven't been able to see that much basketball. Like I watched the Serbia game. I didn't watch the uh, the game after that. That was South like Sudan. South Sudan. I didn't watch oh, that okay. one. Uh, but yeah, if there's a game this weekend, I'm, I definitely plan on watching it. Uh, but yeah, uh, tomorrow we got to go to Quinn's uh, handing off of command. Which will be fun. Uh, yeah. um, see her in that role, you know. Sweet. Um, she getting promoted again? Um, pretty much what happened to her last time, she's doing that to someone else, giving them, handing the command over to someone else. Oh, okay. Because they do that every, like, few years or something. All right. So Nice. It's like a normal thing, so. I'm sure she'll get to a, a different command somewhere else, you know. <laughs> Where do you have but, to go for that? Your mama. Oh, Yeah, wow. got you. Yeah, I've um, never been. It's uh, somewhere here locally downtown. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Your mom is fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'll never forget that time she caught us smoking when we were like 16. And she's like, you guys are old enough to smoke. You're old enough to drink. And she fucking <laughs> made, us, yeah. like, made us drink. What a parent. Yeah, you know? she, she made us drink all that. Like It was like black velvet. Oh, yeah. And then mixed it with bush. She was mm. like, she was purposefully wanting us to throw up. And we did. Fucking or at least I did. Velvet. I didn't throw up. <laughs> I don't know about you. I was wait. like, fuck yeah, I'm about to get drunk, dude. And I did. <laughs> we played a lot of ping pong that night. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we played a lot of ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were good parts about it, too. God. Oh, yeah. Anything else going on with your mad world, Connor? Um, just scooter life still. Enjoying that. I rode my scooter every day this week, aside from today. Um, so, yeah, having a good time with that. Everybody at work loves your scooter, man. Uh -huh. People talk to me about it. They'd be like, man, Connor's so cool on that scooter. I'm like, yeah, he's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so freaking cool. <laughs> yeah. That's my brother. Uh, that's yeah, all you man, hear. That's yeah. me, man. Holy if shit. only he was wearing a helmet, man. Yeah, he'd be, he'd even be cooler. so freaking cool. Even cooler. Tron. <laughs> Tron, man. Uh, Just get some underglows, dude. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah, you can definitely see those. Um yeah, it's a uh, it's it's a pretty cool life. I mean, I, I do have that helmet. I probably should wear it, um, but like just to work every day, I'm pretty confident in myself. 
Um, but like if I like I said the other day, it's like if I if I ride anywhere other than work, like I'm definitely gonna be wearing that helmet, you know, right, like, right, for right. sure. Yeah, yeah. But I can't have my hair all messed up at work. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, can't yeah, show yeah. up looking like Priorities. a scrub at work. Yeah. You can't give the guys that ammo. Yeah. Like, or yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I can't give them that. No. Can't give the guys that ammo more ammo. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, dude, you can't. I was gonna play watch it off out, like watch guys watch that ammo. But <laughs> 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 I was trying to play it off like that, but <laughs> you gotta watch out for big ammo, Connor. I'll do <laughs> watching um yeah but uh aside from that just uh yeah just you know my birthday's this month so i'm kind of like dreading that that's always a time where i'm like dude i don't really want to don't really want anybody to acknowledge my birthday just huh. leave it alone but i always end up enjoying you know seeing my family and stuff but um but yeah just kind of trying when to I'm not telling you. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Known. I'll tell you next month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Then right. you'll know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. That's me. Jack. Well, uh, just been, I've just been doing the same little shit, you know, been watching the bear again. Uh, I only got one more episode left this season and dude, bear is such a good show, dude. It is like it. I really love how they shoot it, how it's directed uh, yeah, it's just such a fantastic show. Uh, still need to get caught up on House of the Dragons. It's the one show I'm lagging behind on right now. Uh, gotten pretty far into Elden Ring, I think, but I'm not watching any videos or anything like that, so I don't know exactly how far I am into it. But I still haven't gotten to the uh DLC portion yet, at least as far as I know. I haven't looked up any of the DLC videos <laughs> and I never played through the game the first time. So I don't know if I've got to the DLC yet or not. <laughs> I might be doing the DLC right now. <laughs> uh, trying to think what else. Trying to get another job. Yeah. S- sick of my current job. Uh, but I'm never moving out of my mom's house. <laughs> <laughs> Stand on that. Yeah, you yeah. cannot get me to leave, bitch. Respect. Yeah. This is Jack's so you house. Never, you never come up front and shit at work. You just always in the warehouse. He's in the warehouse. I mean, there's a part. There's a portion of the warehouse that's actually out in the store, and sometimes I have to go out there as well. And we have another uh, spot that you know where the old tilt was, like when we were younger. When we were kids, fuck. where the tilt was in the mall. Probably, yeah, fuck, I feel like maybe, but I don't know for sure. Like where Old Navy is? Yeah. Like, okay, I mm-hmm. was thinking it was, yeah, somewhere in there. Okay. Yeah. yeah, like that old tilt spot, we've taken it over, and now it's just like a whole bunch of extra storage and space for whenever we need to break down the 20,000 CDs that our owner buys from China and other various various countries. Mm-hmm. So, so I was in there the other day, I was looking for your fine ass, as I always do. I'm in vintage stock, but no, I never, <laughs> never see Jack. Uh, other than that, uh, that's basically been it. Oh, I uh, beat uh, this one game that was one of the free Epic games. I think it was called Arcade Paradise. And okay. I actually liked it a lot, you know? It's basically just like a bunch of old arcade games, you know? So you got like the... What was it called brick ball or whatever where you got the bunch yeah. of bricks and then you got the Break ball out. yeah then you got mm. missile command on there all of them have different names of course right. you got a version of the very first grand theft auto that's kind of more like pac-man is, is tempest on it think so think maybe so? Okay. if it's like one of those really old arcade cabinets it's probably on there okay oh yeah but Tempest, uh, dude, Kyle knows. I used to play Tempest all the time. Tempest is the shit, man. Tempest two thousand, you know. Tempest is freaking awesome, dude. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's cool. But uh, like basically, like the whole point of the game is like you start out as a laundromat that's like given to you by your father, and you're supposed to run it. <laughs> so you have to do like, like the beginning of the game really does kind of suck. Um. <laughs> I don't know if that game is on there because I haven't played all of the arcade oh, okay. cabinets yet. I okay. can still unlock more. There's like a bunch of different like grids that it makes, and then like mm-hmm. you gotta like shoot stuff that's coming at you. It's pretty interesting for like a vector type game. 
Yeah, they have like several games that are kind of like that though. Mm-hmm. But cool. Yeah, I'm having like I just got done beating it, so I no longer have to do laundry. It's no longer a laundromat. I showed my father, <laughs> like, what's up? Was yeah. told, I told him I was like, hey, I can run a business, bitch. Like, is it? No. There is like an actual storyline that's going on, like while you're trying to buy arcade cabinets, and it forces you to actually play them to. Like, okay. get certain, you know, unlock certain stuff. Like, buy glasses so you can see the trash around easier. Pick up that trash. <laughs> buy, <laughs> buy durable bags so you can fill up two times the trash in one bag. Oh, it's stuff like that. What a game. But the beginning... <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The beginning of the game is definitely like a management, time management type of game. And uh, you rarely get to play the games in between all the laundry you got to do. But once you get past that, it's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, that's basically been it. Can I go pee? Yes. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, you can be on both. Yeah, both said he wanted to. Yeah, said he wanted to pass that. Yeah. <laughs> pass that here. <laughs> Yo, I've got a question for you guys that I've been thinking about strictly in the mornings. What is you think we'll ever go to calling New York just York? When is mm. when is that ever going to happen? No, nah, we'll get a new New York before we get <laughs> just a regular York. Right? <laughs> I think we'd go with like an N apostrophe York. New York. <laughs> new York, you know what I'm saying? New York, yeah. <laughs> See, new- fade that bitch away. <laughs> <laughs> they, already tried it. <laughs> say, they already tried that in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. That used to be something else. <laughs> Fuck. I was also thinking about the same thing with New Mexico. Like, when you put new in front of something, do you intend for it to eventually go away and just you eventually will call it York? Yeah. I don't know. It is ridiculous. How long is it new? Yeah. How do you think Mexico this? will ever try to come and claim New Mexico? You know? Just call themselves Old Mexico. <laughs> Right? I wonder... <laughs> Origi- original Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think was going through their minds whenever in Mexico, like... Whenever they found out, dude, they're starting a new Mexico uh, in yeah. the United States. Right? Yeah. What? Let's go, dude. Those cocky dude. sons of bitches. We're going to do Mexicans better than you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it is weird. They just went with new. I we, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. God dang. I, or Lincoln pointed out the other day when we were in the mall, like old Navy's trying to shape off old, so now they're just Navy. We saw that, so maybe some names will start and some news will start dropping off here and there. That's crazy. They're just Navy now. Yeah, I saw it because they're gonna get sued those, by one of the branches of the military. I think. Yeah, yeah just right. saying. Yeah. They might have problems. I think there's a reason they were called Old Navy to begin yeah. with. <laughs> it was always for legal issues. Interesting yeah. that they just transitioned from Old Navy to just Navy and not to like New Navy or something. Exactly. I gotta check this out. Is this real? What? What? That they're just going by Navy? No, out? just the <clears throat> sign. The sign was burnt out. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, those. that's bold. Okay. Yeah. It's just, it's that's like bold. when Dunkin' Donuts went to just Dunkin'. And I was like, that's the dumbest fucking thing in the world, yeah. dude. They went, they went back, though, right? No, I think they're just... I don't know. Actually... In New Jersey, it is Dunkin' Donuts still because everyone in New Jersey said, fuck this. Kyle so it's still check. Dunkin' Does Donuts from exactly. what I know up there. There is one stupid company that changed their, their name and then they went back. Now, nah, fuck, maybe I'm thinking of IHOP. Remember when they just tried to say there were, what? I don't even remember what it was. Yeah, they were talking about changing it and then everybody was like, what are you doing? And then they're, I think they wanted to, I think they were like, we're just kidding. What was did they, they just try to go to? to did they just try to go to House of Pancakes and get the I out of there so it would just be Hop? Oh no, they just changed one of the letters to like a B or something like that. I Hop. Yeah, it was like for burgers or something. Like, yeah, I don't know. But that, that makes sense. Our viewers will know. So yeah, yeah, because they're know. smart. And if not, look it up. <laughs> like we should. <clears throat> We could still Google it right now and give the listeners the correct information, <laughs> no but time. we're not gonna. No <laughs> Good luck. Mm. Yeah. 
<laughs> I don't know. I saw that mosquito fly by again, and it's just like I'm just like it was over there somewhere, man. Yeah, I can see a mosquito. I think maybe like a. It's an. I think it's a probably gnat. a gnat. Yeah. Dude, it's like it's like that big, dude. It's like a big thing, dude. The biggest gnat you ever seen. Yeah, it looks like a mosquito to me, man. Maybe mm-hmm. it's a boy mosquito. Could be. Boy mosquitoes don't, don't bite you, by the way. Oh really? Yeah, I think so. Kill them anyway. Run a fact check that. <laughs> 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 We're waiting. Yeah. I like this lane of like, like, oh, the male mosquitoes don't bite you. <laughs> it's like just rain. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of confidence too. I like that. Yeah. Right. You, yeah. What you wearing green swim trunks? Well, you don't need to worry about sharks. <laughs> they won't bite green stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait uh, defense we have. <laughs> Speaking of sharks, I was thinking about getting a shark tattoo, like a shark skull tattoo. You gonna get that on your armpit so that way when you do this, <laughs> opens and closes. That'd be really cool. I was actually thinking just like on my leg or something, or yeah. maybe arm. Oh yeah. So go for it. That's what I was thinking, but well, I'm still thinking. Just yeah, put it into thinking. action. You think you'll ever actually get a tattoo? If coming? you think about it more than like 90 days, just do it probably. Okay. Jackson always says a year. Yeah. But s- 90 days sounds we, good to me. We could compromise. <laughs> yeah. Six months, but then you'll just forget. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's already. Well do 90 days. There's 90 day fiance. I'll do 90 day tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be me. Yeah. So uh, that's what I've been thinking. I was just like, because like, what kind of tattoo will look good on a white cracker boy? Mm. Um, <laughs> Yeah. And it's like, man, I'm trying to think what's the, going on here. Okay. Yeah. A yeah. Kraken would look cool. And, and you're I, like, I want to cover yeah. up like a lot of this stupid shit. All these like lion, random lines and stuff. I, I would, can't cover I would, up that shit. I would have covered up this fucking cat, but <laughs> Keaton had to go and die. So I'm like, all right. All right. Yeah, that's <laughs> but, sacred. We might want to just cut that piece that of my skin boy, off. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll get it framed. Put that on something. Yeah. <laughs> Put that on his <laughs> memorial. <laughs> Shit. Just graft. You get a good graft somewhere else in your body. Yeah. I mean, what, do you, what do you even get to cover up like a bunch of lines on your leg, you reckon? <laughs> what is it? Lines? I like, think you just get it removed. You got like, <laughs> like, I thought about like a graveyard thing since this cat's kind of like spooky looking. But then I also thought like, like I don't know. Get birds. That, but yeah, like, there's like a bomb you can rub in. I was going to say, get that wrecking bomb stuff and. Can't no, I, I did these lines. They're too good. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty straight. Look how good they are. Yeah. <laughs> it's not coming out. It's art, man. You can't get rid yeah. of art. That's true. Heritage, actually. Yeah, yeah okay. Heritage, not hate. <laughs> Hell yeah. These That's are the markings message. of my people. <laughs> Man, uh, Connor knows about this, but one thing I've been thinking about very, very recently is don't vocalize hate. Mm-hmm. That's my new mantra. Don't vocalize hate. Mm-hmm. It's my new method I'm living by. Yeah. Vocalize yeah. love. Vocalize love. Mm. That's the other half. That's the other side. It's a good thing to vocalize. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because apparently people don't know if you love them or whatever if you don't say it. Like, I don't know what people's problems are, but... Yeah. Some people, yeah. Some people, you need to say it. Some people, you need to show it. All people, yeah. you need to say it and show it is oh, what yeah. I've come to find out in life. You got to do both to everybody. Yeah. You got to show does. people that they're appreciated, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I hate? Let's hear it. Vocalize that shit. Yeah, yeah. People that take the horns off of rhinos and sell them on the black market. Fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah. yeah. And the elephants too. So much love to hate on them fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much superstition involved in like the illegal animal trade and shit like that. Like pe- people eat fucking pangolin or like they'll make soups out of it or whatever out of the scales for whatever bullshit reasons. That shit's crazy, dude. Like it's you know, obviously big in China and shit. And it's like mm-hmm. superstitions, man. What are you killing some animals just you, so you can maybe get hard or something? Yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's wild shit. Yeah, it's fucked up. I just want to eat. We're going to cut off, yeah, this rhino's, yeah, fucking horn, and then boil it into a soup or scrape it off and snort it or something like right. aphrodisiac. Yeah, yeah, it'll do something. Or I'm going to cut off the shark's fin and make soup out of it and then just fuck the rest of the shark. Yeah. Like, man, it's so, so wild. Yeah, it's crazy. The, the thing is, if that stuff worked, 
I don't know. People probably wouldn't be harping on them. That's the thing. If the stuff worked, maybe like more, more <laughs> shark fin, but I don't think yeah. it's working. Mm-hmm. Pharmaceutical companies would like have like collected all the sharks or whatever. You know what I mean? If it actually yeah. worked. They'd have been like, like you yeah. know, we're breeding sharks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll we need their you. fins, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's basically what they were doing in what, what was that movie Deep Blue Sea or whatever yeah hmm. they created super sharks mm-hmm. and they're like alright now with the brain matter of this one we're gonna cure cancer with it and then it bit uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman's arm off Regan basically killed him and then on the way out killed everybody else <laughs> isn't that the one where Samuel L. Jackson yeah He's doing that like a shark yeah. ate me. Yeah, <laughs> he's giving like a whole like inspiring speech. He's like, "We are gonna get out of here!" Oh, and then God, the whole the whole scene just looks so fucking corny with the CGI now. Doesn't the shark come up an elevator? Oh, uh, dude, no, nah, it's literally just a fucking tube. That's like right. Yeah, it's just a tank that like leads to the outside. Yeah. Okay. And it just. Pops up and it's like, ah, there's probably a guy here without any knowledge. It could have picked any side of the pool. Mm-hmm. Good movie. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Is it? Yeah, it's good. It's good. What's, yeah. the, what's the new alien movie that's coming out? Ooh. Romulus. Alien Romulus. I will for sure be there. It I, looks good. So good Fucking, I might. I might go Majeska or some shit to see that in like IMAX. I've never even seen Take a movie. Take that might out of that sentence. You're right. I'll have to think about it for 90 days. <laughs> <laughs> think about it for a year and say if you want to go there. <laughs> yeah, no, I think, uh, fuck, where, where are those at? Anyway, like the IMAX is... One in Springfield, one in Branson, one in, uh, I oh, think, Broken shit. Arrow. There's, there's a bunch, okay. too. They're everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't remember which one I was thinking about going to, but... Yeah, was, for some reason, I thought I was thinking about going to the KC one, but like, I don't need to go that far, apparently. No, no you can so. just go to Springfield. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks like the first good alien since probably Alien 2 or yeah. Alien vs. Predator. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, if you were to call that a good movie. I saw that movie in theater three times. <laughs> Kyle calls it a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't his say act, it was good. His actions alone. No, Cocaine is a hell of a yeah. drug. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Kyle and I watched AVP, what would you say, over 30 times probably? Probably. Oh, probably over 30 times. Yeah. Hey, I'm not going to... Watch it a few times. I'm yeah. not going to harp on it yet. When I was younger, I watched the bad movies a lot, too. Yeah. <laughs> I really you have no it. idea how many times I watched Wolfman. Hmm. The Benicio Del Toro the one? The Benicio Del Toro one. I, I like that movie. Yeah. You, you watch it lately? <laughs> <laughs> you go back... Okay. Here's a no, uh, better example. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. That's a better example. That's a movie I watched uh, a shit ton of back so in the that, day. You don't think that's that good? I saw that we were looking at a list of like scary movies or spooky movies and shit. And that was on there. And I, I didn't even know what it was. So that's not a good movie? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> on the <record? laughs> Watch it yourself, man, no, and tell me. i strike it from the record. Like, no, Jackson said, no, no, we're not watching this. Hey, man. Not good enough. Just hey, man. Lincoln would love it. Lincoln oh, would really? love it. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, yeah, if that's the case, fuck. Because when I was a kid, I loved it. Yeah. When I was in middle school, I thought it was like Hell the yeah. fucking tits. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, I'll watch mm-hmm. it then. It's pretty wild. Mm-hmm. Oh, we had... Uh, oh, I can't think of it all of a sudden. Summerween. We celebrated Summerween. I don't know if you guys observed that or I've not. I've never heard of that. But, uh, uh, either. But is yeah, that like a like th- summer mixed with Halloween shit? Oh, uh, yeah. okay. So it's yeah. not a two hour long wing concert like I thought <laughs> <laughs> ocean man ocean man take me by yeah. the hand before we were even like back together Jessica and I but she's like oh she's showing me this shit you know on her phone whatever it's, you know I'd like to do this whatever I was like we can do this shit tomorrow and so like we ended up doing it and uh oh, actually yeah something funny that happened too but anyway I ended up like rebuilding the fucking fire pit and all that shit and, like and then we were running around all day getting shit for this totally real holiday and uh <laughs> but so we're fucking at sam's club and we're picking out nice pineapple. getting your getting getting it on at sam's club oh, well, yeah, brother. yeah. Uh, but we're picking out fucking pineapples i think because we're picking out a bunch of different fucking fruit that we ended up carving and shit like and making it into jack-o'-lanterns but uh 
we're, we're like, what is that fucking smell? You know, some ba- like some baby like fucking shit his pants or something. But then we realized that fucking we're standing in shit. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a bit of shit. Oh like, man! An alarm and we're like you know this this is not a dog shit. This is fucking <laughs> yeah. Someone I don't know how shit got on the floor at Sam's Club, but of course Lincoln was standing in it and he's like, oh <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've been around Lincoln so many times. Yeah, like you know that. he was bummed. He was like, oh. <laughs> and like luckily like one of the workers was cool about it and like was like wiping his shoe and shit like whatever. I was like that's cool. Now lick then, that shit on the <laughs> But it was like right in front of the fucking like bin for the pineapples. I was like, but I still need fucking pineapple. So I was still like, just like standing there and shit. And I was, like, I was just trying to be careful not to step in it. Cause luckily I didn't, but holy fuck. Yeah, that was interesting. I've never experienced just a bunch of human shit on the floor. Like, I don't know. Where did this shit come from, man? Exactly. Just- yeah, it's like Phantom. Yeah. All of a sudden, we we're fucking waist deep in it. Someone was just like, <laughs> some loose shorts just walking by, just letting it out as they're walking, or what's going on? No, here? Is it a, like a baby situation? Or is, I mean, it was a lot, though. I don't know. Baby with no diaper? Whew. That was rough. Yeah, I don't know how that happens, but anyway. Wild. It is wild and gross. Mm. I can't believe you just, all, all of you, Stood in it. That's crazy. That yeah, must have been like a there. lot of shit, dude. <clears throat> but I mean, luckily, only I think only Lincoln actually got it on him. So okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. He, I bet he let you know about it all day. Uh, it wasn't too bad because like, I mean, he, the, yeah, I don't know. It wasn't too bad, but initially, yeah, he was like, "Fuck!" Like, of course, <laughs> it was him. Was he doing the why me thing? No, he wasn't too bad, but he, yeah, obviously. I wish I would be pre- probably fucking bummed too if I stepped in shit. So it happens to everybody, man. You know? At least he wasn't, yeah, like super angry. I'd been like, "What the fuck, man? Whose shit is this?" But yeah, <laughs> yeah, this what you should have stolen him. But you just joined the collective world of everyone who has stepped in shit before, <laughs> right? Yeah, at least everyone's done it. Yeah. And if you haven't, you're probably not a great person. Um, <laughs> you know what they say? Even the king of England gets shit on his hand when he's wiping his butt every once in a while. Mm-hmm. They say that. Yeah. They do. When I'm did, not there to I wipe. Say, did I tell you that I shit by the the like the conservation like the Autobahn place? Like, uh-uh. like Wildcat Glades? Yeah. It's like whenever I took Lincoln hiking and shit. And oh, I yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You had to go really bad? Yeah. 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 Okay, just making sure I got, like, you guys know. Yeah, you told us about that. Yeah. yeah. It's been a lot of shit lately. But hey, some of it's been amusing. <laughs> Last weekend, I like I got overheated. Like like as soon as uh, freaking Connor left uh, the disc golf course, like but as soon as both of you guys left, I like s- sat in my car for like five minutes, just feeling awful. Mm-hmm. And like without even like realizing I was doing it, I like probably like maybe had two or three seconds of just pissing on myself. <laughs> <laughs> just like not, not even realizing because I was like that out of it, man. Uh, <laughs> this feels good. It didn't, even, it didn't even feel like I was pissing. Yeah. It so was kind of like, Oh my God. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have drove if I'm being honest. Yeah. Lightheaded. Yeah. Should have just came to my house and fall asleep. <laughs> Pee yeah. on yourself in your car. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll spray I don't know you the, off pro- a little the bit. protocol for that. One. God, I'm coming over. I pissed my head off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lay in your bed. <laughs> okay, I'll screw over, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel's not sleeping. <laughs> oh man, Bo, you ever peed on yourself on purpose? All all the time at a pool. No, not that I can think of. Yeah, like for real. I don't know why I would. What what instance would I need to do that? I've done it. Pool and lake, man. I've done it several times. Yeah, anytime you've peed in the water, you've technically probably peed on yourself. Yeah, even at Beaver Lake, man, I was getting out of the water. I was like, I don't want those little things swimming in my pee hole. So, okay, yeah. the rundown. Hey, microbes. I've heard of it. I've heard of it. <laughs> it's enough for me. Yeah. Whether it applies, that. it doesn't matter. Parasites could be anywhere. Yeah, exactly. Because you got to think the pee hole maybe is with all the water current, it gets just confused and it maybe stays open a little longer than it should. And then you kind of suck some back in, you don't know, talk like that. I don't <laughs> want to suck that back in. It's crazy. It is, mm-hmm. man. There's things you got to think about. Mm-hmm. I'll be Th- thinking about things that. I don't want to think about. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
There's a good reason why I'll never try to take a poop in the ocean again. (laughs) (laughs) You've already tried it once? Yeah, when I was seven years old, my first time I went to Disney World, we uh, went to the beach. I was like, I have to poop. But we're at the beach. I don't even know where to go in order to poop. And we just got here. I don't want to leave now. I'm, I'm yeah. at the beach. Just right. be like a cat. And right. Sand, 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 sand. sand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. No, nah, well, nah, what I decided to do yeah. was like, okay, I'm just going to paddle. I'm just going to paddle out pretty, like, not too far, you know, just but I'm going to paddle out up. some. And yeah. I'm just going to drop trout and just like, while I'm in the water, just try to poop. Mm-hmm. And the riptide got you. No, 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 no. <laughs> what happened was that poop, like, I didn't take my bare hand to wipe my butt. You know, I just figured, like, I'm in the water, man. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna flush out no matter what. <laughs> yeah, right. Nah, clean. that nah. whatever poop, whatever poop was stuck to my butt, then became dried and like dried out from the salt water. So it it felt like I had the nougat from or uh, it felt like I had the inside of a butterfingers like latched onto my butt, you know. <laughs> totally know that feeling. Uh. <laughs> Connor tried it too, man. Yeah, man, they were poop Ocean Brothers. <laughs> oh man, it's funny. Yeah, I I did realize that you could fucking covert. Like poop on the beach, you just dig a fucking hole, which is kind of normal for the. You know, it's not like a big deal to see somebody digging on the beach and then just sit down and it's like just be shitting. Mm-hmm. And no, no, you know, you could really just bury it like a fucking cat, <laughs> a giant litter box. Yeah, people would really have to like look at you and be like, "Is this ass out of his pants? I can't really tell." Yeah, right. Where I mean, does his legs actually start? <laughs> people just trying to figure out how your legs are. I guess just yeah, wrap a fucking towel around you and you can just shit right there. Mm-hmm. Boom. I never realized. Boom! You're shitting in the sand. I'm really. I think I'm thankful that I realized this now instead of being at the beach and having to figure it out. Yeah, you don't have to go through my struggles. Yeah, right. <laughs> I want to end up like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd just be afraid uh, of the of it just like floating and then like the waves <laughs> carrying it back to the beach and like everybody being like, "Dude, there's a poop here." Like, yeah. I would. Just, was that kid? Is that kid? It's been like, there, right? <laughs> <laughs> look at that kid. There's a piece of shit next to him. Look at his butt. Uh, nah, I wouldn't have done that. Obviously nougat. I, I had the right idea to like know that like okay, if I poop here, you're not just gonna go beeline directly to the beach. You're gonna you're gonna go perpendicular to right. it first. Out to the riptide. Yeah. That's. I mean, you can't have. Oh, you poop in the riptide. There we yeah. go. I was seven. I, I was seven. Ocean. I didn't know okay. where I was yeah. pooping. I just knew right. it was the ocean. Yeah. You're just a year removed from not taking shits anymore. <laughs> you just gotta, <laughs> yeah. You gotta time out those riptides. Yeah, mm-hmm. that might have had something to do with me wanting to hold my poop after that because that was a bad experience. <laughs> well, you clearly told us at the age of six you couldn't take shits. So now you're seven. Now that's you're that seven. was part of a rap. Who knows? Who knows when I actually stopped <laughs> yeah, doing that? True. It was all for the flow of the song. Yeah, for the for the flow. Yeah. Artistic yeah. abilities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Artistic liberation. Liberation is what. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a better brain than I do. He comes up with greater rewards than me. <laughs> and prizes, not just rewards. <laughs> wow. It's like, the, it's like the brain compartments up here aren't functioning the way that they need to be. <laughs> We're like the Jaeger pilots. We each got a half a brain. I control oh, the left yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. He controls the right. Who controls the middle, though? The, the torso region. That's both of us, man. Mm. Yeah. There's yeah. not like a third brain. <clears throat> no, that's like Evangelion type stuff. That's like three mm. people. Yeah, you're just two people, man. That's it. Yeah. Forget about it. Who do you think you... <laughs> who's your Jaeger partner, Connor, besides Jackson? Because I don't know... If, um, I don't know if, uh, according to the lore, it'd have to probably be you because um, we know each other for so long, and we'd probably be like the initial brothers that get one of them gets killed. You know? Oh, dude, oh, where'd he go? Okay, <laughs> you. So I'd be dead first. You'd be dead first, <clears throat> but I get a hot oh. Asian girlfriend that I'd probably end up marrying. <laughs> oh man! So, <laughs> back from In this fantasy, Kyle dies, and then he gets a fa- <laughs> Asian <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> What a dream. Yeah, it would be pretty cool, man. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? You know, got to live in reality. So. Yeah, got to mm-hmm. take your wins and your losses. Mm-hmm. 
Speaking of wins and losses. Oh, boy. What? I don't know. You guys want to go ahead and move into... (laughs) (laughs) I'll pretend I didn't hear that or something. You guys want to go ahead and move into a good old yo dude? Check this out. Yes. Perhaps. Yo dude. Let's do it. Hey, yo, what's up? Check this out. Yo dude. (laughs) 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 Ow. What's up? (laughs) Coming at you from every (laughs) reason. (laughs) <laughs> oh, Who man. wants to go first? I got two, so I guess I could do one. Go ahead and do Let's one. Go for no. it, dude. <clears throat> this, I mean, this might be average to you guys. I don't know what, what you've heard, but uh, <laughs> there's a four year old boy uh, in France that survived a 43 meter fall from a 16th floor apartment with only a scratch and, and no fractures, and no one understands how. Dang. Now that is the headline, but I did read the whole <coughs> article and it did say that he had some sort of like bleeds from his lungs or something and something else. But no, like yeah, major shit. But, oh yeah, uh, that's gonna knock the wind out of you. Sixteenth floor, yeah, forty three meters. I don't, I don't know. Man, when I was a kid, was a skid. Uh, mm-hmm. I was crawling on the counter. We lived in a trailer my whole life, but we were. I was crawling on the counter. The window is open. I fell out the window. I was like maybe a, just a, I was crawling at the time. So. Yeah, right. But yeah, I crawled out the window and, you know, in the front of a trailer or front of really anything with the trailer hitch, there's that triangular looking shape mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. the hole, with the hole the in it. Going across right. It. Yeah. I fell in between those and just landed right there in the grass, right between the, right, right between the triangle. Fucking A. Yep. My mom found me outside just sitting on the ground. Little Crazy. old me. They're, they're, uh, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, like I said, I read the whole article, but I like what like one of the doctors said. Said they children have a more favor- favorable coefficient of elastic elasticity of bones and joints. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, like it's just funny, like just the way you worded it, like that. Yeah, and the writer, crazy, though, you know, it's like yeah, they are yeah, just some spring. But then it also mentioned in the end of the article that said in 2018 there's a similar story with a two year old girl. In China, who fell from the fucking seventeenth floor, <laughs> and simply walked it off to her mother and doctor's amazement. Like, what the fuck? How do you fall from? Yes, uh, how, you know what I mean. Like, more guardrails. It's like as long as the ground isn't too hard, you stand a chance of possibly living. <sighs> I well, guess. Stuff, Apparently, man. yeah, yeah. Just land where your skull doesn't hit the ground. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, that's wow. wild. Yo, dude, check this out. Hold on. Speaking of the elasticity, when Anakin was just a little baby dude, I was putting him down on the couch, and somehow his arm got caught in the couch cushion, and his arm, I watched it bend all the way back, and like the like touch, this way, yeah. and like almost touch his other arm. It was the craziest looking thing, and because it, it happened so fast, yeah, he freaked out, but he was just completely fine. It was just like, so wild, yeah. what the fuck, right. dude? Yeah, babies have the craziest elasticity. Uh, yeah, dude, check this out. There's a trailer out for the <laughs> the penguin, <laughs> the new uh, new Batman, penguin movie, the new uh, TV show actually, the penguin show. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. and apparently, um, this show will lead directly into the second the Batman movie. Really? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. And Colin Farrell's <laughs> Penguin will be in the next Batman movie, too. Oh. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Yo, dude, check this out. A plane carrying 6,000 pounds of pot crashed in Yosemite National Park. <laughs> <laughs> Climbers in Yosemite Valley heard the news and sparked a miniature gold rush, like with up to 20 people searching the frozen crash site trying to find it. Much of the weed was salvaged, smoked, and sold before park rangers actually caught on. Sweet. Uh, the rest was smoked after the rangers caught on. <laughs> uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, um, I've got some sad news, man. Game Informer closed today. Did you guys what? hear about this? Yeah. Huh. Game Informer, dude. The GameStop finally shuttered it. 
It was like the last video game magazine. Crazy. I didn't realize that, that was even like a part of game or game. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was part of like Fuck. their power up rewards program. Like you paid for like the GameStop or the Game Informer and you got like power up rewards and just stupid shit at GameStop. Mm -hmm. But man, Points. it's such a bummer, dude. Like I haven't been a subscriber for a little bit, probably like seven years, but there was like a good like 10 years where I subscribed and I had it every year, read it every mm -hmm. month and like loved it, man. Like I remember all my friends having it when I was a kid. And we would just yeah. I remember it actually being. I, I almost feel like I had like a yeah, as a subscription or some shit. Yeah, to it too. Cause yeah, the, I remember yeah. when it would come in. Like all of my friends at school, we'd all be talking about like all the new games that were in there. You know, because it was a pretty popular magazine when I was in school, well, among like the nerdy kids. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But man, it's just such a bummer to hear that another magazine is just gone. Like the, to, there used to be so many dope magazines when I was a kid. Like, I remember walking through Books A Million and just seeing so many sweet magazines and just be able to s scroll through them and just see the cool mm -hmm. stuff, man. Mm -hmm. uh, we've, we, we've lost so much with the internet. We've gained so much, but we've also lost so much, like, feel. Print and, media, specifically. Yeah, yeah. like, it's, it's just yeah. crazy. The whole, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just kind of sad, man. Yeah. And we yeah. don't have cheat codes like we used to have. They're just yeah. not there. I the mean, Tips and Tricks magazine, that was one of my favorites, man. Every video game had cheats. Yep. Every one of them, but not anymore. Yeah. Damn. Now you got to, like, yeah, get mods. Point. Yeah. And you, yeah. Can lock, you can unlock everything by playing the game, you know? You didn't have to pay upwards to $2,000 to actually unlock everything in the game. Look at it, you, Modern Warfare. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. But that is life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Goodbye, Game Informer. Goodbye, Game Informer. <clears throat> I if I find one. the people that did this to you, I will hurt them. <laughs> nah, I will. I will murder them. <laughs> <laughs> I got another one, by the way. So, yo, dude, check this out. A robot gets a face of living skin that allows it to smile. And I don't know what this is a picture of. I guess this is. A, I don't think this is like its final form, but still, I mean, that's not. That's not anything I'd like to look at yeah, at all. They had just added the eyes to make it. Just for fun. It's so <laughs> wild. It really is. Like looking and then back like, at me, I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two weeks in a row, huh? One of the people that was like, like making this shit says like robots need to have like human whatever and they need to be able to self repair like their skin and all this stuff. I'm like, do they? Do they need it to be able to do all this shit? Like <laughs> fuck. I think that's more of a final draft, but still them cooking up this skin. The, How yeah. much skin do they expect them to lose? You know, it's pretty, it's pretty wild. Like I don't know, but I'm, I was alarmed by that. So <laughs> that, anyway. that picture on the right is like it was just like eyeballs. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's like, uh, rough. Like, how is the robot thing gonna go down? Is the robot gonna follow me around and like do I t do I go to work with robot? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, is it gonna be one of those things where we all have a robot right next to us as we're all walking around like as our like companion thing. I mean, you would think it would be there to like do all your house chores, ideally, right? Right. Or, uh, that way, you don't have to do house chores. Because, like, <laughs> I don't know. With Robot, the jerk me off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Slowly, yeah. give me the old fashioned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, that's the first thing the nerds are getting it to do. I mean, yeah. guaranteed. Yeah. <laughs> Got gotcha. you. Once I'm confident, Task it won't one. smash my dick off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> like, like the the first thing with every invention hard, is like, how do I put my dick in this? <laughs> too much. Yeah. Too, yeah. Too much. It will be tricky. It will be tricky. We'll have to just adapt. Mm. <laughs> Robot, check my prostate. <laughs> I'm going to need you to milk me. <laughs> yeah. Did I say two fingers? <laughs> two, three. Oh, man. That's a uh, road trip. Right? Road trip, yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Ah, mm. uh, well. I think that's a myth, by the way. Yeah, I don't know anything I don't, about it. I don't see how putting 
fingers in my butt is going to make me, <laughs> ugh, you know? <laughs> I'll get back to you in less than six months. We'll say 90 days. <laughs> I, I, I promise. I'll have this data. Think about it for a year and get back I've to me. Very, I've been very curious, very adventurous lately. I might have to find, yeah, what is up with that? Is there something yeah. to that? Like, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to text Jessica and be like, I'm going to need you to do me a favor. Or She's for both. medically trained <laughs> if, it, if anyone could do it. Like, fuck. Yeah. She's talented. Put it, put it on your resume. Yeah. 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 Okay. But anyway. <laughs> Hand her the whole cans and be like, all right, I need you to do something. <laughs> I'll get back to you. Give her that foam finger. Be like. <laughs> <laughs> and fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so much excitement. Yeah. <laughs> foam finger, jerk me off. <laughs> all right. That's been episode 147. I've been Carson Daly. I've been Johannes McCannahan. Yeah. We're heading out of here. Yeah, we're out of here. You guys have a good one. Man, we're gone. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Like it's a oh, yeah. That's going to be my new thing. I'm just going to start saying I'm Carson Daly. <laughs> I thought you were just going to say things to jerk you off. <laughs> Camera, jerk me off. <laughs> hey. Crashing with friends. Podcast.